Today is a break from the cool fall like air, but you know it's coming back. Before closing down the 9 and 10 garden for the season, we want to think about next growing season. Tonight, Tom is out in the field talking about our options. Welcome back, Northern Michigan. Uh, as we talked about last week, Justin's on vacation, and we're not discussing about the lawn or the garden. Uh, Joe Clifton's here from Dairy Dew, their soil scientist. We're talking about the big field you see right here. Joel, we're considering changing into maybe a hay field or something else. What are our, our steps to make that happen? Uh, the first thing that we want to do is we want to know what's here. Uh, so we need to test the soil and find out what nutrients are available in the soil right now. All right, how do we test the soil? Um, I have a soil probe right here. This is a professional tool um, that soil scientists use. You can also use a spade or shovel. Um, but basically, we just want to take some soil samples about four to six inches down. All right, let's do that. So what I'm doing here is just going to push this down into the soil, get a nice good soil core, and then we're going to put this into a plastic bucket, make sure it's plastic and not metal because that can throw off some of the micronutrients. And then once we've taken about six to 12 of these, we should have enough soil to submit to the lab. All right, now the key thing is when you're taking the samples, you're not going to do it one spot close, close. You're going to go all around this whole field, right? Correct, yeah. You want to get a full representation of the whole area. There could be different soil types, so you need to grab uh, something from everywhere. Now, if I'm using a, a, a spade or a shovel, I have to dig deep, don't I? Yes, about six inches down at least because that's the full root zone uh, for the plants that you're growing. All right, now, so we, we get the stuff sent into the lab. Mm -hmm. The answers come back. Mm -hmm. What do we do with the answers? Um, it's going to tell us all of the nutrients um, in terms of there's a lot of numbers on the test. So yeah. <laughs> um, it's got calcium, phosphorus, potassium, um, micronutrients like copper, iron, zinc, and all of these are needed uh, to grow plants. And so we'll just find out what's deficient, what we need to build up in the soil, and what we need to apply to this field. Now, I know I can go to my local store and pick up some dairy dew itself in a couple of bags. Now, we're talking acreage here. Yes. So you're not going to deliver them in bags, right? No, we're going to deliver them in dump trucks or semi-trucks. So we're talking about piles of compost here with minerals um, added to them. All right, so say we're going to change this into a hay field and we got our load already here. What are we going to do? Are we going to put it down this year or wait till spring to drop it and spread it out? We want to apply it this, this fall so that it's available and ready for next spring. Um, that's why we're doing the testing now, okay. so that we have the information in preparation for what we're going to um, plant next year. All right, perfect. And uh, planning is a key thing. We know it's some might be out right now, but you know, fall is upon us, right? Yes. <laughs> it may not be feeling like it all the time, but we're getting there. We still have some plants left in the garden, and it's about time to wrap things up. So mm -hmm. stay tuned the next couple of weeks. We'll be showing you how we're wrapping things up and getting them ready for next year's garden.